And to really do this the right way, you really want to focus on dissolving the buildup and lifting the debris. Oh, welcome to the Curly Chemistry video. I'm so glad you are here because today we are talking about scalp detoxing, unclogging the follicles. And if recently, if you've been noticing like more shedding than usual, more itchiness, more greasiness on the scalp, your follicles may be clogged. And no amount of hair growth oil is going to fix it until that path is clear. So in this video, I want to talk more about what it means to have a clogged follicle signs to look for and the best scalp treatments to literally unclog the follicle, detox your scalp, and restart hair growth. Okay, you guys know I waste no time, so go ahead and get started. So number one, what exactly is a clogged follicle? So every strand grows through a follicle. So think of it like a tunnel, right? Now along this follicle are sebaceous glands that excrete oil. Now when this oil starts to get mixed up with dead skin cells and product residue, this can actually harden within the follicle and actually suffocate new hair growth leading to inflammation within the scalp. So now the question is why do our follicles get clogged? Like what leads to this? So one of the reasons are infrequent washing, like not washing your hair often. The second thing would be having product build up on the scalp, whether that's an actual product that's just been sitting there for the longest. The same way our face needs to be cleansed and exfoliated, the same thing applies to our scalp as well. So all that being said, now let's get into the science of unclogging the follicle. And to really do this the right way, you really want to focus on dissolving the buildup and lifting the debris. So with that being said, let's go into dissolving the buildup. Now, one of the solutions for dissolving the buildup is going to be activated charcoal. Now, charcoal acts like a magnet, so it draws out impurities, excess oil, and product residue without stripping your scalp. This solution is great for those who have like a really oily scalp. The second solution for dissolving buildup, especially deep within the follicle, is going to be salicylic acid. This is a beta hydroxy acid that gently breaks down hardened sebum and exfoliates dead skin from inside the follicle wall. This is actually one of the most effective ingredients at unclogging the follicle. So now let's get into lifting the debris and actually resetting the pH of the scalp. This is where my favorite apple cider vinegar comes into play. ACV helps to rebalance the pH of the scalp, which is going to be great for improving the scalp microbiome or the environment of the scalp. And it also helps to reduce any fungal growth on the scalp, especially those who have like dandruff, for example. I typically recommend one to two tablespoons of ACV to two cups of water. You want to apply this after you shampoo your hair, let it sit on your scalp, massage it a bit, leave it off maybe like a minute or two, and then rinse it off and proceed to your conditioner. Another great way to lift debris and also reset the scalp, of course, is using a chelating or a clarifying shampoo. Now, if you live in an area where your water is typically hard, you're going to want to use a chelating shampoo, maybe like once a month, but definitely a clarifying shampoo once a month or once every other month to remove any product buildup on the hair and, of course, the scalp as well. And last but not least, for like a pulse, detox scalp care treatment I recommend the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse this is a hydrating herbal blend for the hair and the scalp that I created and it has multiple herbs that are known for rebalancing the scalp soothing the scalp and also supporting circulation to the follicle to reduce excessive shedding and support hair growth so long story short if your follicles are blocked your hair growth will also be limited so unclog those follicles protect them feed them give your scalp what it needs it can get the results that you're looking for. All right, well, friends, hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. Of course, if you like this video, be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay in the loop for the next Curly Chemistry video. And of course, I do have a question for you. What is your current wash day frequency? Like, how often do you currently shampoo your hair? Are you doing it once a week, once a month? once every six months, once every two weeks, like what is your frequency and what shampoo are you currently using and hopefully loving, okay? Comment below, let us all know and I can wait to see your responses. And of course, for all things curly chemistry, like the eBooks, the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse that we just talked about in this video, I'll post those links below in the description box. And if you're interested in starting your own hair care line, I would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one to give you the resources and the supplies and the ingredients and the insight, everything you need to start your hair care line that link will be below. Of course, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching where I can 
create a custom hair care plan for you. That link will also be below as well in the description box. Okay. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.